Oh shit guys, let me get some more light. There we go. This is an epic freaking fucking movie haul of a haul. VHS crazy today. I definitely beat my record on VHS tapes. I went to Amoeba, I ran into another collector friend of friend of mine that I used to sell weed to and stuff like that. Back in the day, I don't do that anymore. I just smoke it now. But um, anyway, guys, this is an epic, super haul of a haul. Ran into my friend. We went to Goodwill. We were at Amoeba first. I had that $30 store credit. Then we went to Goodwill. Got some more scores there. Got some scores at Amoeba DVDs. Then we went to Rasputin, where somebody just, like, gave them all their cartoon VHS tapes, Dragon Ball Z. Like, look at these, guys. I mean, I mean, th we got three boxes. I got 140 VHS tapes. They were a quarter each. They gave me 40 for free, so I paid 25 bucks for 140 VHS tapes. Where I almost got, like, the whole sets of all these different collections, including Pokemon, um... All these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. I even got the rare Easter one that's like out of print. I got a bunch of X-Men. This one's never even been open in the package, guys. Look at that shit. Rugrats. And I found like at least 10 or 12 of these old school Disney tapes that are worth money. And surprisingly, they're in good condition. There's a few that are have a little dings, but most of them are in the best shape. Darkwind Duck, all these Disney tapes, all these nostalgic old school feelings of these old tapes. And here's the Dragon Ball Z, which, man, I got like 40 or 50 of these things. But it's like all the collection of these. I looked on eBay. These things are going for just 13 of them is going for like 50 bucks or something. And we got almost a whole collection. So I had to get an Uber back home because we have three boxes. I mean, God. Here's one freaking box right here of VHS tapes. Oh man, guys. Look at this. There's all the Dragon Ball Z, guys. Look at that. That's all the Dragon Ball Z in miscellaneous tapes. Tapes in the package. Whoa. Look at that. There's another box of tapes. But I mean, 140 tapes. Let me get this shit out the way, guys. But 140 or 50 whatever freaking VHS tapes. Also, I finally found someone that's going to buy my Super Nintendo and my uh, Nintendo uh, system and all that crap for about 90 bucks. And then I can go hoard up on some more DVDs and movies. But this is an epic haul. This is just going to be pretty much the intro of the random pickups because this is a major, major VHS haul. And I might do the DVDs separate because I got some really good DVDs. Um, I mean, there's just good stuff here. I got a bunch of Scooby-Doo stuff, clamshell. Um, I got a whole bunch of crap. Let's see. I'll show you guys a couple previews there. But um, I found freaking teeth. The women that has the uh, the cunt with teeth on them who are biting people's dicks off. What the hell's up with that, guys? But this crazy movie's hard to find, and uh, it was only ten ninety nine, so I found that. I also got a witch movie, and you guys know I collect witch movies and witch DVDs. I probably have like maybe eight now. So I found Salem Witch Trials, the one with Christy Alley, on Blu-ray for five ninety nine. Uh, Robin Williams' very last movie. Um, where he's like this guy who's picking up young men uh, prostitutes. That's weird that he did the last movie like that, but that, that was his last movie, Boulevard. And then I got Prisoner of the Mountains, some cool mountain movie, which I love those adventure movies. But um, guys, we got a special guest, and he came home with me from Amoeba, because I needed help getting these three freaking boxes of VHS tapes back to my house. We took an Uber... And man, how many pounds of tapes did I bring in this house? But here he is, guys. What's up? What's up, man? Yo. So yeah, this is the this is the first guest fan subscriber that I ran into 
on my channel, <laughs> on my show, and all that shit. But um, we're taking dabs. We're <laughs> hanging out. Yeah, and we don't know what to do with all this crap. And he's gonna buy. Oh, yeah, he's about to buy this. He's gonna buy this, guys. He's buying my old Super Nintendo from me. Yep. And I only got two games. I got um. Here, hold that. Yep. I got. I'm. Get, I really don't want to get rid of this game. And it's even got the game genie, but it's mm -hmm. uh Contra Three. And then um, he already has Donkey Kong. And um, we got the Nintendo One system with the two controllers. I gotta find my other controller for the Super Nintendo, guys. Yep. But I'm basically gonna sell them all of that and a big, what's this big Nintendo One box, yep. old school. I'm not lifting that whole pile of shit over there, guys. For 90 bucks, so that's a good chunk of change. Close to what I blew, even though I got some store credit. But yeah, I definitely blew some money on some movies and stuff. Get ready for an epic random pickups, VHS haul, DVD haul. Oh man, guys, I finally got rid of my Super Nintendo. And, and tell them about you, how you like to collect and all that stuff. Yep, my name's Mike D. I've been collecting for five years now, maybe six years, since after high school. Uh, it first started with uh, Dragon Ball Z Season 1, and it just multiplied. Uh, lately, I've just been collecting... Old nostalgic movies. I've been collecting old sci-fi, horror. I've been collecting anime for a really long time. Uh, video games, vintage video games, since I'm about to buy all this stuff. And uh, let me show you my little haul I bought today. from. Oh yeah, guys, we're doing a random pickups with a special guest. Yep. Uh, so he gets his collector's So YouTube I got guy. Grandma's Boy for 50 cents. Yeah, I'll put that down here. I got uh, fifty cents, guys. He's a hunter like me. I got the Evil Dead, full price, but worth the full price. Uh, Spider Man Three, hated, but I love it. $1. And this is a tell him it's to buy three, get the fourth one free for a yep. dollar, so it's like seventy five cents. Yep. And then you showed him the Clipper card, where you got another dollar off. Yep. Uh, I bought. Star I'm jealous Wars. of this, guys. He got them before I could grab them. I got Star Wars for all a dollar. These are fan made, no CG. These are not the the special editions. George, George Lucas is fucked up. Uh, I bought Night of the Creeps. Direct Night of the freaking Creeps, Director's guys. Cut. Uh, I got the Toxic Avengers 21 anniversary. And oh, show it like um like uh. Yep. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Whoa! I didn't even know you got those, dude. Yep, I got this at uh, Rasputin's. Wow! But he here's the grand he knows how to hunt, guys. And remember, Rasputin, they're not up on the outer print stuff, and which means, oh, tell him. And you're the guy who got I the got, Sonic Hedgehog. I got Sonic the Hedgehog, the animated movie, for two fifty at Sex at the Mission, and it's worth a hundred dollars on eBay. He he, man. He's good. And here's my latest haul, rare. I got Riccio, the story of Ricky, part one and two, Whoa. out of circulation. Yep. Fifty cents each, guys. Yep. And um, I just been a collector for a while. I'm gonna continue to collect. Maybe later on, we'll you'll see my collection when we get to my house later. And um, like I said, I'm purchasing these these systems for ninety dollars and. Guess what? I'm going to donate some of my old stuff to Spy Cat. I'm going to give him a few VHSs that I don't need, and it'll be proudly in his collection. Okay. That's right, guys. Yep. Let me go back. Dang. I didn't even get to take my dab. I'll take a dab with you. We're taking dabs after this, guys. But that, that was cool, guys. So this is Spy Cat's first guest. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I just pissed my fucking pants in the store because I didn't know what to do with the first guest. Man, I'm excited, guys. First guest, I see him in YouTube. Oh, well, uh, oh. we're just keep not yeah. on that. Yeah, but yeah, you guys know. I promise I wouldn't do any dab dabs. But I'll blow some smoke here. Hold on, guys. Who? I blew it out too soon. <coughs> oh well, guys. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> Buy three, get one free.
Yeah. Below. I don't know what this movie is, but it's Spy Cat's type of movie. Great movie. Wow. Just great. Epic call, guys. That sound in the background is either somebody warming up the, the dabber to take a dab, or an old guy that, that just, he doesn't have the farts, you know, that are like, <clears throat> like that. He just has the air gas and farts and all that stuff, where it's just like, <clears throat> So it's, it was either that or we're taking a, well, you guys saw the smoke. But this is a intro to random pickups, one of my best hauls ever. 140 freaking VHS tapes for only $27. And not to mention that the $60 I spent on DVDs at Goodwill and Amoeba, I'll show those off. But this is going to be a long one. And I'm probably going to have to do this one tomorrow because it's been, we went to the Rainbow Store, Safeway, all these adventures. But that's how Spy Cat does, guys. So I'll see you guys later. And hold on. Where's my freaking... And yeah, so we tried this one, the one that I got at Rainbow on the yesterday's episode, the Blueberry Soda. Hold on, let me make sure the... Oh yeah, it's still cool. Damn, that's a good phone. Still clear. But this blueberry soda, what'd you think about it, man? It's pretty good. He says it's pretty good. It was pretty good. That's that main root one. But yeah, guys, this is one of the only water bottles that I didn't try. Um, I got to show you guys my, my water collection, bottle collection. Because I'm into the waters. You have to have a taste. But this one, I guess, is from... Uh, man, what the hell is that, man? I don't know, man. Ocho... It's Oachita Springs, or Mountains, which is in Arkansas. Um, yeah, Arkansas. Hot Springs from Hot Springs and shit. In Arkansas. So let's try that out. That's pretty good. Definitely smooth. The glass, it doesn't have that. That's good. That's pretty good. I like it. That's it, guys. That was the intro of this crap, and yeah, special guest and all that stuff. And he's going to, guess what, guys? My out and abouts have really been solo. But now that I have this guy with me, we're going to do some crazy out and abouts, crazy adventures. So, man, it's like this is like a, a, a new step for Spy Cat Channel now, right? I mean, yeah, now yeah. I, I'm not solo. Mm -hmm. I got someone that, that can be my half of my brain because I get too stoned and can't really do good videos or, you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, he's going to help with that. And the Spy Cat channel has just taken a step. Stoned. You finish the rest. We're taking a next step forward with our high and with our collections. We're going to spec flea markets, the thrift, st thrift, uh, th thrift town, and... Um, other places. Sorry for the... He knows all the yep. stores that, like, I might not know about to get DVDs, and I thought I knew them all in San Francisco. Go to Sex on on 24th and Mission. They sell video games and movies. But yeah, and CEX, guys, not SEX. Yeah. It's on Mission. I've been there a couple of times, but he found that Sonic the Hedgehog that was going for $100, and he paid two ninety nine for it. Yep. So... We got to, we're partnering up, we're doing, yeah, all that crap, and, yeah. Stay tuned, you might even Stay see tuned, my, my collection. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go to his house and see his collection and, and crap like that. But, yeah, guys, that was it. That was another Spy Cat video. You guys know what's going on here. Oh, man, my fucking boxers are fucking in the damn way. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Oh, there's that Donkey Kong one. See, he, I, I would give him this, but I know Amoeba is going to give me, like, um, they'll probably give me, like, $20 in store credit for this. Mm -hmm. So I can get maybe t maybe 30 I can't remember. But um, that's it, guys. And, uh, yeah. Yep. See you guys next time. Whew. Hey, guys. It's Spy Cat. This is Random Pickups. 60th anniversary or 60th episode 60th anniversary what the fuck guys it's not the 60th anniversary it's a 60th episode and you guys saw my special guest i freaking was so stoned i erased the videos when i met him at amoeba 
That sucks. I was too stoned. I erased them all. Can't believe I did that. I had like at least 10 minutes of when we saw each other at Amoeba and we were looking around and at the movies and stuff. Oh man, why'd I do that? Well, because I smoked too much, that's why. But anyway guys, this episode for the 60th anniversary, 60th episode edition, is the biggest haul I've ever had. I got 140 VHS tape movies. Some of them are behind me. And uh, I'll, I'm going to just go through those really fast after I show off the movies I got at Amoeba. I got a bunch of DVDs, got some out of print stuff, got a really cool box set of... Um, let's just start this shit off, guys. Alright. I got the Family Guy complete... It says the complete DVD collection, but it's only one, one through five. So it's only uh, season one, two, three, four, and five. So it's only six of them, but this cool edition right here was only $19.99. I don't know if they messed up, but this thing is really cool. It's got one through five episodes in here. It's got ping pong set there. It's got poker chips, never been open. Um, yeah, and then it's got this playing cards. Looks like it might be missing a deck. But, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool set. 1999 worth definitely way more than 1999. Pretty cool thing there. Um, so let's start with the dollar tapes I got. Buy three, get one free. Getting those VHS tapes. Uh, Tangerine Bear from uh, 2000. This has uh, Howie Mandel, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I mean, from Home Improvement. And, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, Marlon Wayans is uh, in this one, too, as a voice. Then I got uh, The Willows in Winter for a dollar or 75 cents. Pooh's Great Adventure, um, The Search for Christopher Robin, this is a movie, really hard to find. I haven't seen this one, and it uh, looks like somebody even taped it up, but they did a good job. So that's pretty cool. Little Nemo, really cool cover here. Love that uh, clamshell. Um, let's see, and here's a bunch of Scooby-Doo clamshells I got. Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. Really cool clamshell going on. Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Really cool. These things are like collector's things. I'm really getting into all the old nostalgic 80s and 90s cartoons when I was a kid that I used to watch. And I'm getting any ones I can, especially when they're only 25 cents. Um, Little Rascals, Clamshell Case, the movie, in perfect condition. It's even got the yellow thing there. Still dollar price tag. Alright guys, and now for the DVDs. I spent some money today. I spent 80 bucks in Amoeba. Uh, he, bought my he bought my Nintendo. I got 90 bucks. Spent that and spent another 60 bucks in Amoeba. So I spent like 140 in Amoeba. <clears throat> and I traded thirty dollars of DVDs. Um, I got the movie Teeth for ten ninety nine. This is the movie that I was talking about. That's really a weird, crazy movie. She like, she has teeth in her snatch, and anyone who takes a advantage of her, uh, it bites their cock off. Why did I get this, guys? Well, let's see, guys. Prisoner of the Mountain. This looks like a cool adventure movie. There, pretty cool. Put up our world films. Kind of a cool adventure one. Uh, dollar Bin, 75 Center, in the package. Um, Life is a House, really good movie about cancer. Um, Kevin Klein has cancer, and I think his son, he calls his son to come visit him the last couple of years that he has to live. And they uh, build a house. Um, let's see. Salem Witch Trials, right here for $5.99 on Blu ray, which is a steal. Really cool there. 
Oh, I also went to Goodwill and I got uh, the house bunny for two for two fifty. Has a slip slip cover and everything. I got Zoom for seventy five cents. Add that to the Tim Allen collection. I got Harvey. This is a movie with Leslie Nielsen, kind of a uh, dramatic movie, I think. Pretty cool. My big fat Greek wedding for seventy-five cents at Amoeba. I needed this. Um, and let's see. I got Boulevard for nine ninety-nine. This is Robin Williams' last movie. And I can't remember if this movie's. This is the movie where he's like picking up, uh, like young prostitutes, and I think he's killing them or something like that. But I can't remember. Good movie for a last movie. Creepy. I got Just Go With It at a Goodwill for two forty nine in the package. Add that to the Adam Sandler collection. South Park at Goodwill for two forty nine. Brand new copy. Just. The disc is real shiny. Pretty cool. Open Waters for 75 cents. Need this for the adventure collection. Um, Pop and Me for a dollar. This is a rare one. I think this is out of print. But it's um kind of like an adventure movie. It's mom and... Or... Pop and... What the fuck? Pop and Me. So it's like a father-son adventure movie. Um, Below, from the director of Pitch Black, really cool ocean killer movie, kind of cool, just like Open Water, Stargate with Kurt Russell for a dollar, or 75 cents, uh, this is pretty cool, it's even got the booklet, um, Bad Boys 2 with the slipcover and the uh, special case for 75 cents. I got this movie called Fern Hill, um, about like, it's like old childhood like movie, kind of about a bunch of kids who track a plane, they're looking for a plane that crashed to find their friend, he was in it, and they, uh, some other adventure crap. Um, James Woods' Vampires, super big collection right there. Vin Diesel, a cool little anime uh, Chronicles of Riddick, Dark Fury, the, uh, animated version, which is really cool. Really cool. Um, and now we'll get to the expensive ones. And this one was a dollar, it's a double disc, Mission Impossible 2. Um, and I got this movie called Meridine, Meridine, which is really... It's a full moon uh, pictures put this one out. It's a cool, rare horror movie. And it was $7.99. But this thing is just really, really cool. It's like those old classic horror movies. And look at the character on that. That is just cool. Oh wow. This is a good one. Worth $7.99. Um, and I paid $19.99. I got an out of print movie that's going on eBay for... I think like 30 to 40 bucks, and it's um, Gene Hackman's, what is this, Marooned, and it's, uh, they go in space and something crazy happens or something, but this is all the way from 60, 1969, so it's a pretty old movie, but my sci-fi collection, I want to have every sci-fi movie in my collection, and this is an out-of-print one that I, I don't mind paying 20 bucks for. Um... I got Adaptation right here, uh, only for 75 cents. Add that to the Nicolas Cage collection. This is actually one of his best movies. Someone told me that. I don't know. And um, let's see, guys. A movie that I thought that I didn't have, but I bought it again, is uh, The Black Caltron. I'm trying to collect all the uh, gold edition ones. I only need a few more. And... Um, I guess I freaking had this one. So that sucks. Anybody want this one? Make me a trade. Um, let's see you guys. A Lot Like Love with Astrid and Kutcher for 75 cents. 
And uh, a gold collection that I needed for my collection is uh, Alice in Wonderland for $7.99. Have a couple editions of this movie, but this is a really cool, cool one that I needed for this gold collection. I'm trying to get that whole collection, and I have most of them. Um, and this is a weird one. This one is $0.75, cents, and it's Alexander the Elephant Who Couldn't Eat Peanuts, which is a crazy little cartoon, family, kids type of thing, story or something, but pretty rare. Um, and here's another rare one for a dollar uh, with that chick from, uh, what's she in? She's in The Craft and a couple other things. And Patrick Stewart from Star Trek. And this is like some kids movie called uh, The Canterville Ghost. And uh, this is a rare one. I haven't seen this one. Only for 75 cents. Starship Troopers. No. Super Troopers for 75 cents. And that's the DVDs I got. Yeah. That was a shitload of shit. Oh man, and now, 149 VHS tapes, lots of nostalgic kids movies, and we're just going to go around my room because I organized it perfectly in the order that I got it. So here we go. Whew. Alright guys, so, now, for $27.00. 138 or 40, 140 VHS tapes. Here we go. But I first want to tell you guys my favorite DVDs out of that whole pile of DVDs that I got today and blew like $140 on. Um, my favorite ones of the haul was definitely Salem Witch Trials with Christy Alley. I could add this in the Witch Collection movies. Um, definitely Marooned, or yeah, Marooned. Can't wait to watch this cool add a print sci-fi movie and just add it in my sci-fi collection. And uh, Fern Hill just reminds me of kind of a nostalgic like kids movie from my childhood I would have watched. Um, and Boulevard, a weird thriller, kind of even, he's picking up like young male hookers and, and like killing them or something like that, I think, I can't remember. But I know he's, it's weird. Dark Fury was only 75 cents. Look at that cool anime cover. Alice in Wonderland, I can add this to the uh, gold collection. This cool Meridine, which is like a, uh, this monster. Man. Seduced by something less than human, in love with something more. For $7.99. That's a good one. And this cool adventure one right there. Patrick Stewart one there for a dollar. Dollar. And this chick is biting dude's cock off. Biting dude's cocks off. With teeth in her snatch. What the heck, guys? Anyway, 140 movies for $27. Let's see what I got. Now let's go look at those VHSs. Yeah, so this was an epic haul today. The best one in history. It started out with these uh, Dragon Ball Z tapes that go online for money. I will find the rest of the ones I'm missing. But there's some that I completed, like this one. is a cool one. But, you know, they're these, uh, they're these things. And he organized this like this. I, I wouldn't have known how to do this shit. But, I mean, just look at these things. These things are so cool, man. They're... So that's that row. I completed that set, I think. I think I did. But I mean, I'll find them. Look at this, guys. And um, yeah, we'll go on to, we'll go on to this shelf first. 
So these were all part of the 140 VHS tapes I got for only 27 bucks. Um, this one's in the package, Eyes on the Prize. This thing is worth some money, and it's never been open. Ain't scared of your jails. Wow. This is going to be cool. That's going to be cool. I don't even know what I got, guys. I just, you know, binged. And he gave me 40 of them for free and charged me for 25 cents each. And he gave me 40 for free and charged me 100 times 25 cents. I guess it was like 25 bucks. Uh, Batman Forever in the package. Gina Davis Angie in the package. Uh, K9 in the package. Original cover, like that. Lucy Show, never been opened, sealed. I got the three, uh, Star Wars things. Part of those 20, 20 centers. Pretty much 20 cents. Man's Best Friend, I got that for one ninety nine at Amoeba. That wasn't part of the 140, but this movie I was looking for for a while. Can't find this on DVD, or I don't see it on DVD. Probably is, but... Um, let's see. And that's the uh, stuff I got from Amoeba. Ah, one more, because we have a lot to go. And I forgot to show you... <coughs> wow. <coughs> Technical smoker difficulties and stuff. Nutcracker. These are the cases that I always look for. These MGM old school cases before the uh, whole square boxes like that. I'm always looking for these. These are really hard to find. I even have a few in the package still. But this is a find for 20 cents. But let's go. I put. I organized all the tapes I got, guys. So here we go. We'll start with the movies. First, I did find some cool ones. Love finding these um, adventure, rock climbing in the snow and stuff. Movies like that. This is going to be really fun to watch. And uh, I found one of the last remaining Rodney Dangerfield movies that I never had in my collection. Rover Dangerfield, which is a really good movie, animated movie. And um, this is a hard movie to find on DVD. I don't even think it's on DVD. But I finally found the tape. So stoked I got this. And let's see, guys. I got Hunter's Moon, this cool, like, adventure one with Burt Reynolds. Oh, God, Predator 2. I, I'm just getting these for the uh, covers. Um, Trouble with Angels, I think, is out of print. Embryo, look at this weird one, guys. Rock Hudson. Old school horror, vintage craziness. Old school tape. They they wouldn't put this on DVD. Not that I know of. Um, Chopper Wars, another old school video treasure one. Probably not on DVD. That's, you guys can see what I look for. Those rare covers and stuff like this. This is awesome. Uh, Weird Science, original cover. Uh, this movie at Amoeba would be a lot of money because it's probably not on DVD. And one of those, um, I ha I collect movies like this, but it's like in the, in the, uh, the messed up times with like the black people and the white people not getting along and shit. It was all the racism and shit. Uh, I like those movies a lot. They have good messages. And the Trimark puts it out, so that's why it's not on DVD probably. Indiana Jones, this is the one with uh, River Phoenix. That's why I got that, I think it is. And this cool, weird Bible Man thing right here that I never heard of. Breakaway with a Dean Cain action movie. Never seen that on DVD before. Original cover for Edward Scissorhands. Even's got the original stuff in the back. Old Tommy Lee Jones movie I never heard of, like one of those TV... Maybe TNT movies or something. Oh, no. Uh, Turner Home Entertainment. Yeah, they don't make movies anymore. Um, Body of Evidence. Original White Fang. Let's see. Grizzly Falls. This is cool. Old school kids movie from my uh, childhood. This is this is awesome. Um, let's see. Boys Next Door. Charlie Sheen. I don't know why the hell I got that. That looks like it's not on DVD, that's why. 
Uh, net worth. Don't know what that is. One little Indian. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Wow. This is going to be so cool. Anchor Bay. Definitely worth something. Um, Got this weird one that's probably not on DVD. Clarence. Comedy that's heaven sent. These are the type of movies I remember. Republican Pictures. They don't put... Uh, Oh, it's two movies on here. Wow. Wow. Score. Definitely a score. Um, here's a good one, guys. 20 cents. Empire Strikes Back in the package. Wow. And... And the rest of these are definitely um, old memories. Nostalgic all cartoons, movies. These are what sell on eBay, but I'm keeping them all. Look at these. I mean, just remembering the the pictures. I mean, look at these guys. Look at all the stuff I got today. Uh, I got all the Disney's tail spins. I got all my childhood crap, guys. Wow. Whew. More tail spin. Quack pack. Wow. Look at this stuff, guys. Uh, DuckTales. Fearless Fortune Hunter. Wow. All in pretty good shape, too. Um, then I got a bunch of Darkwing Ducks. Disney's Darkwing Ducks. The tapes, I mean, as you can see, they're in really good condition. Um, and all that. Timon and Pumbaa. I got three different ones of those. And this is straight up from my childhood. Care Bears, Meet the Lovable Monsters. Wow. I mean, just look at the, the memories on these old tapes. This is just great. And it even has uh, two other ones that I would have... Man, I had this when I was a kid. Wow. This thing is so freaking old. Um, wow, that one. I'm glad I got. Arthur, have to get that. Just got that, 20 cents, why not, in good shape. I got three little rascals, old school ones. This one's never been opened, these two have. Um, let's see. And we're getting to the end, guys. I got this cool thing right here, 18 of the greatest cartoons. Old school tape from my childhood. It's all about that nostalgic feeling when you were a kid and you had these tapes and it was everything to have one of these. Now I can get them for 20 cents, guys. Why not? Three freaking, freaking Franklins. Freaking Franklin. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, this is a cool one. I remember this one, the Black Ranger. Pretty cool old school tape right there. And I think this was like a video game or something. Earthworm Jim. I didn't watch that when I was a kid, but I just got it because it was in my realm of fucking... Uh, you guys know what I'm saying. Muppet Show in the package. Wow. Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. X-Man sealed in the package? Wow. X-Man another tape? I will be collecting these for sure. I'm on the hunt for these. I cleaned them out almost. But I'm going back because I missed a bunch of stuff. I go there with 10 bucks. I'll get a lot. Scooby-Doo uh, with special guest stars Batman and Robin. This is an old school tape right here. Wow. World Vision. Um, I don't know what this cartoon was, but it's, uh, Adventures in Odyssey. Don't know what that is, but I got two of those. That's a cool, uh, picture. Um, that should be with the Muppets. The Christmas Toy Muppets. Uh, Big Bird Story Time. Fred Flintstone's Woo Woos Again. 
Uh, Dino and Juliet. Another uh, Flintstones cartoon classic, Smurfs. Wow. Three Pokemons. Pokemon. Whatever. Two Rugrats. And now we're on to the Nickelodeon guys. Real Monsters. Rugrats. Tommy. Rugrats. Uh, Dr. Tommy Pickles. Got a thing of the uh, cat and dogs. Kind of cool. I even found a Doug. That's awesome. Then we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the rarest one is this one. This is the uh, Turtles Awesome Easter, which is out of print. All these are out of print, the tapes. But that one's worth a little something, I think. And last but not least. Oh, I have this one already, I think. Oh, but yeah, guys, 140 tapes for 26 or 7 bucks. And then I spent 140 on all the rest. So that's the whole... Co Still going to have to be on the hunt to complete all this. So I got all these. These are all like the new stuff that's worth like money. Got all that. Those are all the DVDs I got today. Um... And then, yeah, this whole row of tapes. And that was the best haul ever on VHS.